What's up guys, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create those colorful wavy lines in Photoshop. So most people might reach for the pen tool when you start to think of how to do this effect, but the way I actually like to do it is using the shape tool and transforming it. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my rectangle tool and I just want to make sure I'm working on shape mode and the fill color, I'll use white, but it doesn't really matter that much. And then the stroke, uh, I'll use none because I don't want a stroke. Now I'm working on just a blank canvas here and this is just my wallpaper size, which is 1440 by 900 pixels, but you could use whatever size you want. This is just an example to show you how to add it to your creations. So I'll go ahead and create my first rectangle shape and I'm just gonna create a stripe across the screen. Now it's white and my background's also white so you can't see it. So let me just fix that for you guys. For my background, I'll grab my gradient tool and I'll select this preset Photoshop gradient which is like this blue to red to yellow. And I wanna create kind of a pastel look. So I'll turn the opacity down to 50%. You could pick whatever one of these gradient styles you like. There we go. So I've got a nice pastel background and you can see my white rectangle here now, which is right here. And I'm just gonna use Command J and duplicate my rectangle. So I'll duplicate it and move it up a little bit. And then I'll use Command J one more time and I'll duplicate it and move it in the center here. So I've got three different rectangle shapes here. And now we're gonna go ahead and add color to each one and warp each one. So First things first, I'm going to right click on my rectangle, I'll use blending options, and I'm going to use a gradient overlay because I want to create this kind of colorful pastel wallpaper almost. So for the gradient style, I'll use normal and I'll use the same gradient that I've been using and I'll use, let's see, I'll use about 50% because that's going to mix in well with the white. But I'll go ahead and select OK. You can't really see it because it's being covered up. There we go. I'll hide these other two for now. So as you can see, I've got my gradient. And you can play around with the opacity to your liking, higher or lower. Um, so I'll use 50% here. And then the angle, you can see, just dictates which way the, the gradient is going. I kind of like using a vertical angle, it creates a bit of shading. Um, the scale is how spread out or pinched together the gradient will be. And if you actually click on the image, you can click and drag to move the positioning. So I'm okay with that. I'll go ahead and select OK. And then I'll unhide my second stripe and do the same thing. So what I can actually do to make this easier for myself is right click, copy that layer style, and just paste it onto this next one. But I don't want the exact same thing, so I'm gonna right click, or actually, I can just double click on my gradient overlay there, and then play around with the angle and the style and whatnot this way. So I'll do that for the second line, and then for the third line, I'll reposition it up here. I'll paste the layer style, and then I'll double click on it and I'll just adjust the type of gradient it is. So this one will go up to down, I think. That'll look nice. Let's get a negative 90 degrees. There we go. So that kind of creates this cool shading and whatnot. But now we're going to do some warping to create the waviness. So I'll go ahead and go to Edit, Transform, and select Warp. So here it's going to open up a 9 grid section here and you can just pull and stretch a certain part so I'll pull and stretch that and then I'll pull up on that and then you could pull down on other parts to create a little bit of a wave so there's one I'll go ahead and select enter and then I'll just repeat the process for the other two so edit transform warp and I've got I'll try to make them go in different directions and kind of collide with each other nicely. So there's that one. And then lastly, this one here. So edit, transform, 
warp. This one, I'll make it go upwards like this. All right, so we've got a nice spiraling effect here. At this point, you can grab your move tool and kind of move things if you want to close the gaps a little bit. Um, but I think that looks pretty nice. You can also rearrange them so that the layers are kind of in between each other in different ways. But I think that looks pretty nice. So what you can do now to make it a little bit more complex is I'll just hold shift and grab all my layers. I'll put them all in a group by clicking this new group button here. And then if I actually duplicate it by using command J, I can do things like transform flip vertical, which will duplicate everything and you know flip it vertically. And then I can kind of reposition things and then maybe just get rid of one of those one or two of those lines and reposition things like that and then set the opacity to like 80% or so. That's the main effect. At this point you could just reposition things or create as many of these lines as you want. I'm pretty happy with this final effect. Hopefully you, you got an idea of how to create those wavy shapes and the whole coloring is just a little bit extra. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and check out my channel where I upload new tutorials every week. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Just This Good. And feel free to leave me a comment or question if you had any trouble. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.